Hare Krishna. In last session, we saw that how Bhima slain the Bakasura and they were living very happily in that particular Eka Chakra village. And one day, one ascetic Brahmana would always travel, he came to that you know, Brahmana's home and the Brahmana served him very nicely. And then this Brahmana started telling various stories of his traveling. And he started narrating about the Swayamvar of Draupadi. And he told that this Draupadi is not an ordinary lady. She has born from the fire. Like that. And the Pandavas became very intrigued and they asked, Now please tell us much more about this Draupadi. You know, how can somebody you know, born from the fire? And then Brahmana started telling that once uh, there was a Rishi. And this Rishi got attracted to some uh, Apsara, the heavenly damsel, and he discharged his semen into the pot. And a boy born from that pot became the Drona, Dronacharya later. And then he learned various martial arts again, the one Rishi. There he met with his friend Drupada. Both were very nice friend. And Drupada promised the Drona to give a half of the kingdom when they become, I mean, when they will become the you know, mature. That time he will give them the kingdom. He promised that. And one day it so happened that you know Drona, you know, while he was begging, he came to one Kshatriya. Actually, he was a Brahmana, but looking like a Kshatriya, so he thought you know, he will give me some Dakshina. And he was Parshuram. And that time he told him, "Oh sir, please give me some charity." That time Parshuram told, actually I have won all over the earth, but I have distributed that earth to all the Brahmanas. Now I don't have anything to give you. I have only two possessions. One is my own body and I have a celestial weapon which is the mantras. So what do you want? That time Drona told, I want to learn celestial mantras from you. And that's how the Drona got the celestial mantras. When he became mature and little elder, when he got married, he went to the Drupada for asking the half of the kingdom. But what Drupada did? He humiliated the Drona and Drona was really insulted in front of everyone. That time he took, uh, I mean, that time he took a vow to take a revenge. So he came to the Hastanapur. He, he taught the Pandavas into all martial arts and celestial weapons and everything. And then he told the Pandavas to capture the Drupada. And Drupada was captured by the Arjuna. He was telling the story to the Arjuna. And he, he didn't know that this person sitting in front of me is Arjuna actually. Like that. Because they had, had become then you know, little like ascetics. They had matted their hair and they have changed all their clothes actually. So this Brahmana was telling a whole story and then uh, Drupada was you know captured and you know half of the kingdom he had to give to Drona. That time Drupada took a vow that I will produce a child which will slay the, the, the Drona like that. And what, what he did, he, he, he went to the you know, forest, Himalayan forest to seek a Brahmana who will do this work for him to produce the child who will be powerful. Because he knew that I am not able to, uh, I, I won't be able to uh, attack the Drona because he is so powerful, I want somebody else. So he asked for, he asked the Brahmanas, two powerful Brahmanas, Yaja and Upayaja. So he asked them, you know, I want a son. So they performed the sacrifice on behalf of um, the Drupada. So they came and you know they had a big sacrifice and they were pu putting the ahutis and the geese and suddenly after the end of the yajna, the big part of the ghee came came out and you know Yaja took that and he told the wife of the Drupada, you please drink this as soon as you, dr you will drink this you know you will get, get the two childs you know. Actually you know, the, the Drishtadunma before you know starting of the yajna, he told you know actually I want two childs. One will kill the Dhruna and other will marry with the Arjuna because you know Arjuna is so powerful. If he becomes my son-in-law, then you know I will have whole protection. He will protect me like that. He had that thought and I will be so happy. So you know at the end he put the mantra so that you know girl girl can also take a birth from that yajna and then the the pot came. He offered that pot to the wife of the Drupada. But the wife of Drupada said, you know, I am already chewing some saffron and I am so much contaminated with the so many perfumes and oil. So, you know, I will take that later. But he said, what, what, what is the meaning of a later? Now, it's an urgency and you have to take it now. She said, no, I cannot take it now. So, what he did? 
he put that pot again into the fire and what happened from the fire first of all one you know, effulgent person came out his name was drishtadunma he was really blackish and he was really powerful he came with a golden armor around his body and then it is later said that you know this drishtadunma went to the drona for a training and drona taught him because he knew that you know it's a god's plan and i must respect the god's plan and after all this drupada had given me the half of the kingdom so i must respect uh, his his child like that so he trained him in all the way although he was knowing that this person drishtadunma is going to kill him this was the you know, nature of the brahmanas in that in those days and then the second girl which was born she was a draupadi she was a most beautiful lady and when she it took a birth she took a birth that time there was a celestial voice it said this lady is the most beautiful lady in the all world and she will be the cause of the death of all demoniac kings in the world so you know protect this girl like that it said so in the next session we will see that how arjuna married actually married with the draupadi thank you very much hare krishna